Hi there, this is Alicia with Falcon Family Farm and today we're going to go over some tips on how to get your stubborn chickens to lay in the nesting boxes. So stay tuned. Chickens not laying in the nesting box is a pretty common problem, unfortunately, especially if you free range your birds, but I've had most issue with it with young birds that are just learning how to uh, lay eggs and where to lay them, and sometimes there's some confusion for them, so they need a little bit of help. So here are some tips that I have found that can help with this problem. You may have seen them out there on the store shelves, but one of the best tips is to just buy the little wood or ceramic eggs, um, they're just the fake eggs that you can put probably just two in the nesting box, you don't want too many, but chickens like to lay where there already is some eggs there. And so that is probably your best number one first step is buying some fake eggs, putting a couple of them in each nesting box and it'll help encourage your young hens who are just starting to learn how to, to lay eggs to go ahead and lay in those boxes and then you'll just want to collect the, uh, the real eggs each day as they lay. Another important tip is their nesting box placement. You don't want it to be where there's a lot of traffic and you don't want it to be too low. It's ideally you have them about a foot and a half up high. You don't want them at eye level to where the birds can always peek and see the eggs because then you're possibly going to encourage them to eat the eggs. And so about a one and a half foot off the ground height is about right. And you just want it to be in kind of a more quiet, dimly lit area of the coop. If you already have a coop you bought, then you're not gonna have to worry about it. But if you're building your own coop, you'll wanna keep that in mind, kind of keep the nesting boxes in the back, kind of dimly lit part of the coop where uh, they can feel a little bit more snug and secure because chickens do like to hide their eggs. When we have ours on the mountain, they, uh, they'll go into the woods and find just kind of a dark under the bushes sort of spot to lay their eggs. Some chickens can be picky about nesting material. I've never personally experienced this or I don't think I have. I just use plain old straw out of a bale for the chickens. I've never really given them another option, but some people like to use the, the wood shavings for their chickens or or something else for them. Uh, roll away nesting boxes are just gonna be the fake grass. I, I can't imagine a chicken's gonna like that because they like to move the material around. But you know, if you're having a problem, you can try switching up the nesting material and see if that helps your chickens out. Whenever I've had a problem with our free ranging chickens going out and laying eggs not in the coop in their boxes, I have actually grounded them where I will actually keep them locked in the coop. Uh, it kind of depends on, on how bad the problem is. Sometimes I will just keep them locked up for the first half of the day since chickens mostly lay eggs in the first half of the day and then they can have the afternoon to go in free range. But I have had chickens that also will hold it if they get used to that routine. So they will not lay eggs until they get let out in the afternoon and then they'll go sneak off and lay their eggs. So uh, something that I have done is just straight up lock them in the coop for about two weeks to try and get the habit into their little heads that uh, they need to be laying their eggs in the coop. And then I will try again, try letting them out and see if I keep getting eggs in the coop or if I need to try again and, and do another lockdown for a couple of weeks to instill that habit into uh, their little heads. <laughs> when you have young chickens, you may have caught them trying to sleep in the nesting boxes. I've had this happen when there's quite a few birds in the coop and they all are not satisfied with their sleeping arrangement. So some that are lower in the pecking order will try to sneak and sleep in the boxes at night. I had just make it a, a nightly routine to check the boxes, make sure nobody's trying to sleep in them and remove the bird repeatedly from the box because if they, when they get comfortable doing that, they do poop in the boxes and they're not gonna lay eggs where they poop. So it's important to not let them get that habit of sleeping in the nesting box because it's, it's gonna become a problem later on when they 
become hens and start laying in the nesting boxes. Keeping your nesting boxes clean is important for chickens. They're not going to want to lay their eggs in a dirty nesting box. Usually, I don't generally have a problem with them making their nesting boxes dirty. Again, it's sometimes if you get those younger birds that sneak in there and, and poop, I'll get in there, make sure I'm cleaning it out, and whenever, you know, I'll, I'll clean the bedding entirely in the nesting boxes about every other cleaning of the normal bedding. Just because, like I said, it's not often dirty that often. I also like to sprinkle uh, the a diatomaceous earth uh, sulfur powder mixture in there just to make sure to keep any mites or pests like that out of there uh, so that the birds aren't getting that on them while they're laying their eggs. But keep your nest box uh, clean for your birds. Do you like chickens and technology? Then you might want to look into the Smart Coop. This coop is equipped with a heavy duty run that is great for keeping out predators. It's got a camera indoor and outdoor to keep an eye on your birds 24 seven for you to view. There's a convenient little run door so that if you wanna let your chickens out into your yard, they've got easy access in and out. A smart door automatically opens and closes at daylight and at night so that it's hands free for you so you're free to go about your day. If you think this coop might be the coop for you, I have a link in the description below. Just have a little patience, again, with young birds. They're still kind of figuring it out and figuring out why they're popping these things out of their system. So sometimes I've, I've seen where birds kind of panic a little bit when they're first learning how to lay eggs. We used to just kind of leave our door open at one time and we had a new batch of birds that was about breeding age, or not breeding age, that was about laying age and uh, we had one hop in and just was kind of panting and looked really stressed out. We called him Mo because he had a, it was a cream leg bar that had kind of the, the fun, funky feathers on the top of her head. Uh, but she would come in and looked kind of, you know, stressed and was panting and kept going to the couch and digging in the corner of the couch and looked like she was trying to nest. And it, it took, I think, until the next day or either later that day to pop out just a giant blue egg. So this poor hen that had never laid an egg before in her life, she laid a double egg. There was another egg in that egg and it was a big blue egg. So um, sometimes they're just confused about what's going on and uh, you know they just need time to figure it out. So be patient. If you've had chickens, you know that they are bratty. They're a very, uh, there's big time bullying with hens and, and whatnot. So I have had hens that do not feel comfortable going into a nesting box because then if a more dominant hen comes in and decides, hey, that's my box, they'll kick them out. And so I have had that be a problem where uh, a chicken just has to find somewhere else to lay because they keep getting bullied among the other boxes. And that is again where it's good to have at least you know, a box per three to four chickens uh, in your coop. That way there's enough uh, nesting boxes for everybody. Not everybody should have to lay at the same time. I have had rare instances where every single box is filled up, but usually, you know, they're good about taking turns. Sometimes it might be just your bird's personality. It's kind of rare, but I did have a Colombian wine dot one time that she just would never lay in the nesting box. She would always lay below the nesting box. And I was okay with that because it's like, okay, it's the general area. I just tried to keep up on making sure to get that egg before somebody else decided to, you know, hey, what's this and peck at it. Uh, Cause you definitely don't want egg eaters either. But I never, I never ever saw her try or attempt the nesting box. She just always wanted to lay under the nesting boxes. And just uh, again, I was like, okay, that's, that's fine. At least it's not in the woods where I have to go play Easter egg hunt and find the eggs. But it, it just really can come down to your bird's personality. I think that's rare, but it can happen. If all else fails, which these tips should fix your problem, especially if you don't free range your birds, but in the case of free ranging birds, like for us, we have continued to have problems with it. And I think it's just the nature of our property. Being on a mountain, there's so many trees and rocks and grass and bushes. And I, we've had chickens actually go out our front gate, go along the road, go all the way to the neighbor's yard and find a place to nest. So for us, when we get a stubborn chicken, you know, it's, it's either they got to be cooped up for life or, you know, it's, it's just, like I said, for us, we tend to do the, what I've come up with is the 75% rule where I need to see 
at least 75% of the hens lay eggs before they can go out and free range and play. Um, that way, you know, because we have the birds for eggs, we don't want the eggs going to the wildlife. Um, so that way they do still get their freedom and uh, we get eggs. <laughs> But that's something to consider too. Uh, if you're not able to take away those tempting nesting sites from your birds, that's that's kind of the best advice I've got right there for you. Because uh, you know, for us, we're not a farm that's just flat grassland where there's not many hiding places. We've got a lot of good tempting hiding places for birds. So if all else fails, that's that's what I do. Is that 75% rule? Keep them in the coop. Once I get you know, three out of four hens to lay their eggs, they can go out and play, and that's how, how we've lived with it and dealt with it there. I mean, worst comes to worst, you could always sell off the, the chickens that you know and have discovered are not laying eggs in the boxes and replace them with new chickens that will probably lay in the boxes. It's really up to you at that point. But those are my tips on how to get your chickens to lay in the nesting boxes. I hope they help. I hope this video was helpful. Good luck. <laughs>